Is today going to be the day? Balde, remember, it's been almost two years for him. O'Connor, he's not stopped winning this year. Harbour's been good, and it'd be a rare bit of success if he could take something. Gebre Xavier, such a loyal teammate, looking for that first European win. There's lots of nice stories here. And Foss, of course, in here at his brand new team after transferring over. Let's have a look at this group now. As you said, there is no, certainly no, Filippo Ganna. There is for Bora a Sergio Aguita, and we know he's quick to the line. Yeah, very quick. He's having to do a lot of work, though, to bring it back. You can see him second wheel just coming over the top. In that group is Hugh Carthy as well. Three riders from Movistar, including Sergio Samitier, who we've seen. 15 seconds it says. Still four and a half kilometres to go. Any hesitation and it's over. They've really got to keep on both sets of groups here. It's a fantastic battle we're watching. Is yeah, Geraint Thomas and Voss rolling through now. Just done a little turn on the front, keep things going, stop people getting angry. Let's not forget two Bahrain riders, two little trek riders in there. Chavez just missing his turn at the back. Just over four kilometres to go, and in the front group, everybody playing the game, aren't they? They're just trying to say what they can, but keep as much harmony as possible. 11 riders looking to take stage one of the Tour of the Alps, and we are 4K from the finish. 14 seconds, still a chance for this group behind, Adam? Yeah, small. I think this group's got bigger by the looks of things. Geraint Thomas now rolling through with Voss, so maybe they're going for Voss today. Voss forcing Chavez to come through there. Tiberi just coming through onto his teammates wheel over the top of him if ideally if he can keep things away for wild pals we think out of this group rob you'd say he's probably the the sharpest the sharpest sprinter out of it but there's still room for attacks here there's still room for gaps to be opened up within this group with all of the gc riders really looking at each other is Voss out laying off the back there tobias foss who's never won a road race outside the national championships Harper. and chris harper's making his move o'connor chases Juanpe Lopez pulls out and just wonders if he can let the wheel go maybe and see his teammate get a gap. That's Egebert Xavier. Closing the gap here is what pulls for Bahrain victorious. He has Tiberi, his teammate, on his wheel. Valde is still in this group towards the back. This is Chavez wearing 45. And Tobias Fossi, we talked about, still with that number three on his back. We're being told 14 seconds, another kilometre ticks by. But the games have started here, and if they keep rolling through, Adam, they'll get closer and look at the time gap. It's only a second, but it's coming back. Now we get hesitation. Big moment coming up. Yeah, watch Voss on the left-hand side. Is there going to be any room for him? Only just. This is... Oh, wasn't worth it. This is what's going to happen now, though, Rob. You see 15 seconds. It's gone back out just that two seconds extra with that acceleration. But just look at the riders off the front. Nobody wants to take it on. As I said, there's enough teammates in here. Geraint just having to respond to that. With the role of the teammates in here as well, if they've got one rider in the front, they can say no. But then the GC battle starts with, oh, I don't want to let that go away. So for the, for the riders that are trying to help the teammates win, it's... <sighs> It's a difficult one. GC, stage win, GC, stage win. They want to try and keep it all together if Look possible. Look who's back in here. Look who's back in this group. Filippo Ganna has returned to this group. You said it got better. You said it got bigger. Ganna is in the chasing group now. So no wonder they were starting to lay off at the back. There's only two kilometres to go, though. Less than that. The gap's growing bigger because they're accelerating up the front. They're also playing games as to who's doing the work behind because that group's got bigger. Tactical cards being played all over the time. And now this is a man. Manuel Gebre Xavier, who's made a move at the front, and he's yeah. with Geraint, Geraint Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, G saying, right, it's time to play now. This group's going to stay away, so let's give it a go. Let's not forget he's got Voss behind. Voss tried to counter a minute ago. The speed's high. Let's not forget they're in a tailwind, so they really have to keep that pace high if they want to catch anyone by surprise. They're everyone aware of it. Chavez on the right-hand side goes now. And Esteban Chavez goes, but he's been marked by Tobias Foss and by Ben O'Connor. Now Harper has to go, and this gap has got big very quickly indeed. Look behind. Is it going to stick? Is it going to go? Yes, they're carrying through. And now Juanpe Lopez decides he's got to get across. There's the hesitation. Some have missed it. This could be the winning move. Four away, Adam. 
This is a difficult one, though, for Geraint Voss being in there. He doesn't want O'Connor to go away too far. So that GC battle, stage win battle, what is Voss going to do now? Is he going to sit up and say, my team lead is behind? It's such a tough one to manage, putting guys in moves to keep things rolling, to neutralise attacks. There's such a fine line between it. But O'Connor in a very, very good position. Lopez on the way across to it. A reminder, there's 10, 6 and 4 bonus seconds for first, second and third in this race. 500 metres now. Tobias Voss yet to win a road race outside of his nationals. The former world time trial champion at his brand new team. Esteban Chavez is there for EF Education Easy Post, the former Colombian national champion. Now into the final few hundred metres and it's Chavez going through the centre. Voss on the left hand side, Harper on the right. It could be his big day. O'Connor starting to struggle though. But look at Harper. Is it going to be the moment finally for Chris Harper? It's not. It's for Foss, it's to Pierce Foss, who makes a winning start to his Ineos Grenadiers career. This time yesterday, struggling. It's two wins in two days, and the season has been kick-started for them. Tobias Foss is a winner, down from altitude into racing. He takes the opening stage of the Tour of the Alps and the leader's jersey. Chapeau to Ineos Grenadiers, and here's another man taking the sprint as we expect to behind. Filippo Ganna then coming through to take the sprint from this group. Ganna will come through. Manu Kelly, I think, is there as well, not too far away. And this is the group that he's going to have to try and chase time because there's some time gaps open up here, there, and everywhere in this race. Foss has done it. Congratulated by Harper. Of course, Harper himself, a former Jumbo Visma rider, let's not forget. It was close for Harper. He's riding in the best form of his career. But Tobias Foss is now back in our thoughts at his new team and ahead of the Giro, winning at the Tour of the Alps. It's only day one, but my eyes, it started in explosive fashion. Foss takes the stage and the race lead.